hey I will make this kind of quick I'm gonna do my makeup really quick it's it's still hot so the fans going <laughs> not turning it off apologies um, but I will be quick and hopefully it's not too bad it is now 4th of July happy Independence Day to those in America be safe um, take care of your pets I will be here at home with my cat not doing anything exciting not going to see any fireworks I'm not the biggest of fans I think they're pretty but like I don't think they're that necessary and Austin is heading out to go visit a friend who's returned from the Marines tonight so that's kind of the plan so I'm just gonna do my makeup I have some filming things that I want to get done it is July so there's some mid-year bookish tags to do so yeah I'm gonna do my makeup and catch you guys in a bit updates with the reading um, since I've done nothing else today. I am now on page 75. I finished the first part of the last, not not the, just last Hang Standing. <laughs> so this is Last Hang Standing by Lauren Ho. I have now finished the first part. Um, so far, so okay. Um, there's a few things every so often that I'm not loving but for the most part she's a really funny writer and this character has like a lot of just sarcasm and you know you're just typical midlife crisis <laughs> but like not so far she is just expressing how it sucks to be 33 and single especially Chinese because it's a very big deal um, in their culture to get married and produce children so that their grandchildren for the grandparents early on as well as to marry within their race and somebody in a profession that they deem worthy. Um, I'm learning a lot about just like cultural standards for specifically Chinese, Singapore, Malaysian standards for them but I do find that interesting she's funny she's relatable it's not like so far-fetched at all um, as a white American who has not traveled I don't know how to feel about all of it like it's it's interesting to learn about but also like these are stereotypes that I've just like grown up with that I thought that all Asian parents are like this and then I'm reading a book that's like yeah that's how it is and then I'm like obviously it's not how it is for everybody times are changing but also like I suppose some cultures are like that and I don't know it's just hard to wrap my little head around probably sounds really stupid anywho I'm enjoying this so far um, I'm hoping to get a little bit more reading done tonight and then other reading updates I've been reading the silent patient <laughs> all right there we go I am about halfway through. I've still got four hours to go um, so far. Full cast, which I love. I love the narrator's voice. He's got a nice voice. Um, we are following the patient who murdered her husband and is now mute, and the psychiatric doctor who's trying to figure out what led up to this, what happened, what caused this, why she committed this murder. Um, 
I don't really know how I feel about it yet. I don't dislike it, but I don't like it either. It's fine. Um, he's just doing some like detective investigator work, interviewing people that she's close to. And then we're reading, I think, her diary um, pre-murder. So it gives you some insight on her, her relationships with people and it's fine. Um, nothing exciting is happening, which is just like easy to listen to and work, um, which is what I've been doing today. And so it's nice to just mindlessly, mindlessly listen to. <laughs> yeah. House of Salt and Sorrows, I'm in such a big, like, oceanic mood. <laughs> I just want to be in the water. Alright, so, reading-wise, I'm going to read some of Last Tank Standing. I'm hoping to maybe finish this in two days. Um, I still have quite the ways to go. I have gotten to part three in The Silent Patient. There we go. So I'm on chapter 45 out of 71. I still have three hours to go. I definitely can knock it out today while I'm doing some chores and stuff. And then I started reading a completely separate book out of nowhere for no reason <laughs> on my iPad last night, but I didn't even finish the first page, so I'm not counting it, but I might read that. So, I think book-wise, finish Silent Patient, read maybe half of Last Tank Standing. As for chore things I need to do, it's, it's kind of a lot, um, but it's also incredibly warm. Let's see how warm is incredibly warm. I probably sound like a baby right now. So it's 82, high of 90. So it's really not that hot outside. I was definitely sweating when I went out there earlier, but um, for a house with no air conditioning, it's much hotter inside than it is outside. And so it's definitely difficult for me personally to go and clean the entire house because I get physical symptoms from the heat. So I don't want to get sick. So I might hold off on the chores until a little bit later in the evening when it starts to cool off. But chore-wise, things to do. The simple stuff, gotta do some dishes, clean up the kitchen a bit. Um, probably should clean up this room because it's getting a little messy since we've been living here. Um, and then I believe my office needs to get clean. I would love to <laughs> words escape me am i okay um i would love to build my gaming chair my new office chair because that's been sitting in a box for a very long time and i need to get that done so that i can put my dining chair back at the dining table so i can actually have food up there crazy i also need to film a book haul because I've been collecting books for the last six months and it's getting a little bit ridiculous and I would love to put them in my shelves back here and then I also want to film the mid-summer freak out book tag um, because it's July we've made it six months of the year somehow so those are also on the list of things to do I think that's kind of it. It's not as much as it, I thought it would be in my little head. But I think right now, at this current moment, I'm going to read a bit of this. I will update you guys maybe in like a hundred pages. We'll see how long that takes me. 
and if I need to do anything else. But yeah, I'm gonna read this for a little bit, so. I decided I wanted to make lunch so I'm currently trying to make rice I didn't add enough water but I did decide <laughs> grab myself a uh, Jamaican smile uh, beverage so yeah this is me combating the heat I'm gonna continue reading for a little bit while I wait for my rice to finish cooking not too much of exciting stuff going on I am cottage four. I'm not really into fireworks. I might have touched on this already, but there's just so many issues that fireworks cause with scaring animals, but also affecting the wildlife poorly. And, you know, the ironic uh, lighting off fireworks to celebrate our independence, to in turn trigger PTSD in the veterans who were fighting for our country. I don't, I really don't get it but they're pretty, sure. Um, unfortunately, people decided to light off a bunch of fireworks and Oregon is in the middle of like some heat waves. It's the hottest that it has been in Oregon in years, uh, this early into the summer. And scientists have already stated that they think this fire season will be worse than last year. And so um, I've seen three fires along different highways since last night. We love that for our beautiful state of Oregon. But anyways, yes, um, fireworks happened, reading happened, I finished The Silent Patient, and I gave it three stars. Um, it was fine, uh, like this, the plot twist was good, I will admit to that, I did not really see that coming. But at the end of the day, it was really just like a murder mystery thriller. Um, I was kind of hoping for more of a like psychological thriller since it was somewhat set in a mental health institution for the criminally insane. It was fine. Um, I read a little under 100 pages of Last Tank Standing. Still enjoying it. It's whatever. Um, I think I'm going to watch Crazy Rich Asians 
this week for the first time because of the book so that's gonna be fun and exciting and then I think I might start another book I also started the last stop yes the last stop by Casey McQuiston so I've read the first I listened to the first chapter of that um, they're pretty long chapters anywhere from like 40 minutes to an hour so it'll take me a little bit to get through all of that and then as you might have noticed I keep scratching my hand because I got bit by mosquitoes last night I was trying to get some footage in the backyard for of the fireworks for you guys and I just got ate up eaten up chewed up, I don't know, mosquitoes attacked me. I think I might be allergic because the swelling is kind of ridiculous. So I got that going for me as well. But I'm gonna throw in some makeup. Copperfield, um, there's one other one that I'm thinking about. What's good guys? How's your day going? This is a late start to the vlog yet again. Um, don't mind me. I have books that I need to finally put away. It has been, it's been like two days since I did my book haul and I have not yet put them back on the shelf. So that is first <laughs> on the agenda. Really late start to the day. I'm sitting on the floor quite in an uncomfortable position. So put books away, do a couple chores in the house, try not to die from the heat, talk Austin into a seafood homemade alfredo fettuccine pasta tonight. I think we can do it. I think I can accomplish it. Um, it's about 3.30, I want to say. Austin won't get home until 7. Then we have to get groceries for the dinner. <laughs> but we'll get to that when we get to that. For right now, books. Put the books away. You've known it, you've seen it, voila. Um, <laughs> below are the way too many books that I have collected with my boyfriend that we will now assemble into the shelves. Right now, they're sort of organized by genre. So this is my classic shelf here. I've got pop culture-esque things. So you've got like Lord of the Rings, Parks of Big Wallflower, adapted into a movie at some point, very popular fantasy for the most part. These are my retellings of fairy tales in Disney, or reimaginings. Fantasy, <laughs> which is usually my biggest shelf. And then you come down and I have some of my horror books over here falling into historical fiction. And then down here, more like fantasy series. That was too difficult for me. And then this shelf down here that you can't see is my contemporary. So yes, that is the shelves now to assemble. Should I move you guys? Probably. Do you want a better view? Probably.
I tried out a new lipstick and it smells like Play-Doh. And I feel like you can't even see anything on my lips. It kinda tastes like Play-Doh too. Not having the best time. Anywho, hello, what is up? It is Sunday. So, hello, how you guys doing? Um, this morning, Austin and I... went and got breakfast together. So now I have lunch because I am difficult <laughs> and ordered a plain bagel and then decided I didn't want a plain bagel, I wanted an Asiago bagel. So he bought me two bagels and the Dutch Bros. Because what is one of my vlogs without Dutch Bros at this point? So I got that going for me. We just kind of hung out, sat in the sun, watched an episode of Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, we're kind of obsessed. It's our thing. Um, so yeah, that's been the morning. He is now at work and I have drafted up my to-do list for the day. I'm hoping that it won't get too terribly hot. Quickly though, I wanted to give you guys some, shh, quiet on set. Quickly, I wanted to give you guys some reading updates. So we have One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I have 59 minutes left of this book. So that is first on the agenda to finish today. Um, took me way longer to finish it this weekend, I guess, than I was originally planning I thought I'd be done with it by Friday um, but I haven't really been putting in the time to read it so that is my bad um, next I think on the list to listen to next on the list to listen to yeah um, will probably be either ninth house by Lee uh, Bark Bardugo Lee Bardugo there we go or um, The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. Kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for. If it's fantasy or thriller romance, I think. Um, I know it was a dark academia pick, so I think there's some secret society involved. I'm not entirely sure. Next on the reading check-in is Last Dang Standing. I don't think I've touched this all week. I am still on page 143. So definitely need to finish this. I think that I'll finish it this week for sure. Um, hopefully in the next couple of days, preferably before Wednesday. Wednesday, Austin and I are going out of town on a little trip that I'm super excited for. Shush! <laughs> and I'm really excited for it. I'll take you guys along, of course, but I would like to maybe bring a book to read whilst we are out and about. And then next... Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I definitely need to continue reading this. I've been on page 29 for like a month, month and a half, maybe two months even. I know. Um, so that's definitely a book that I need to get back into. I think this would be nice to read on Wednesday while Austin and I are out and about. And then finally, um, Survive the Night by Riley Sager. This is the literally dead book club pick for july we are almost halfway through the month and so i definitely need to get started it's not too long so i don't think it'll be terrible um because it is a thriller i know nothing about it not a single thing haven't looked into it and i'm not going to so i will tell you guys more about this whilst i'm reading it and figuring it out so those are my reading updates i will check in with you guys in a little bit when i'm doing something a little more exciting Yes.
guys. Good morning. It is a beautiful day. Austin and I had breakfast outside. Watched <laughs> the cat because she's still injured. We took her to the vet yesterday. Um, and she, we've just been keeping an eye on her the best that we can. But today she's feeling a bit better. She's being more social. Um, so she's outside enjoying the fresh air. And there's so many precious little bumblebees. Now, I'm gonna figure out what to do on my face. All right, so the time has come to build a gaming chair. I've had this just in the box for weeks now at this point, and it's just been kind of sitting as like the hall room hall, hall room hall, hall room table. Yeah, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I know you guys cannot see anything right now. Perfect. Shortly. Ooh. I'm sure the entire platform of YouTube is sick and tired of hearing us all complain about how hot it is because I'm sure at this point the whole world is just dealing with massive heat waves everywhere. But, oh my goodness, it's hot! This is so bad for my knees. Okay. I'm gonna lower this camera down now. Seems simple enough. I bought this chair from a company called Donix? Downix. I know nothing about this brand. I don't see a lot of people necessarily using it, but in my head, I liked this color and it wasn't outrageously expensive. This cost me $200, which is kind of crazy for a chair, but also this chair should last me for the rest of my life. So I can just kind of hope for the best with it. Um, like I said, the instructions seem Pretty simple, pretty easy. Nice. The wheels. Oh, there's some stuff everywhere around me right now. Okay. So, wheel. Turn the base over, insert cast the caster firmly, this wheel. The wheels are a little hard to insert to prevent them from coming off. Come on. There we go. All right. Part one complete. Now next, the base and gas lift. I'm so confused. about an hour left of the magician and I'm hoping to finish that today <laughs> haven't listened to it nearly as much as I thought I would and I've read another 50 pages of last tank standing by Lauren Ho um, it's still fine I'm not feeling necessarily a special way about it I'm uh, finally at the halfway mark <laughs> and yesterday I was talking to Austin about it just kind of ranting what I did and didn't like, just getting my thoughts together. And so far, I'm struggling. Right now, it's looking like it'll be two and a half, three star, depending on where it goes from here. I'm really hoping it'll pick up. It's kind of been repetitive and the same over and over again which isn't necessarily a bad thing, um, but because it's diary style, like she's writing in her journal with the dates and sometimes timestamps for things, it can sound the same and I don't know how I feel about diary 
entries for reading anyway because why are you putting in your journal like text messages that you're sending your friends or like specific detailed conversations that you're having with someone it's just a little strange to me but overall it's fine I'm not having a bad times by any means, I'm just not having the best time either. Righty tidy lefty Lucy, I might be dyslexic and I might struggle very very much <laughs> with understanding right and left, but for whatever reason, righty tidy lefty Lucy has never done me wrong. But yeah, that's my reading updates right now, I'm getting really excited to start Survive the Night by Riley Sager. Um, a another YouTube channel that I follow, Possessed by Horror, just finished a different book of his that I'm excited to hear her thoughts on. She seemed to enjoy it and she wants to keep reading. So that was fun to see. What do we think? So far I'm liking it. It's quite comfortable. Just been hanging out here for a little bit since putting it together. Still learning some new things. Okay, anyway. Hey. <laughs> um, I just finished The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell to fulfill part of a prompt for the buzzword readathon, the word being last. It's a fucking series. I should have known. I should have known. I don't know. I went into it thinking it would be a standalone. It'd be super quick, super easy. Would love it. It's a freaking series. Anyway, that's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. So, it's a series. Um, I, I'm hoping that it's just a duology. That's the vibes I'm getting so far. But Scribd won't have the next one. I think it's called The Devil's Thief or something like that. I will throw it here to verify. But it's 22 hours long on Scribd. Like, do I want to finish? Do I need to know what happens? Am I that curious? I don't know. I don't know, but I gave it, I should probably think over my review better, but I think I'm going to give it three stars. Like it was fine. It feels right. It was fine. There was nothing super special and unique about it that I was like, oh. Um, there was a plot twist towards the end that I didn't expect, but also it wasn't that interesting, and it kind of just happened in the last ch chunk of the book, so it was kind of like, mm, yeah, yeah, you know? It was a 16-hour audiobook, so it was kind of on the longer side already, and overall it was fine. I don't think I really cared that much about the characters. The world building kind of confused me. I wasn't quite sure what all the logistics were between the past and present, I suppose, which we rarely see. Um, I enjoyed the slight sexual tension between the characters. That was fun. Um, I like that romance wasn't a major part. I think when fantasy has slight romance there, but it's not really a part of it. I think it's great. Not saying I don't love romance in my fantasy, but it was nice for this story overall. Mm. Yeah, it was just fine. It was just fine. I wish I could say more about it, um, but it was fine. I didn't feel any particular way about it, which is cool, whatever. So now, 
I've just been spending some time getting my extremely ambitious TBRs set up for the upcoming months because I like to plan far in advance. Um, that's how I just, that's how I roll. That's who I am as a person. I'm sorry about it. So I'm planning way in advance the books that I'm reading and hoping to get to in secret TBRs that I want to start doing. As I mentioned, quitting my job. So next month and September especially, I will have far more reading time on my spare hands. Nope, that's that's not right. <laughs> With my spare time, I will have more reading time, basically. Um, which is exciting. So I'm kind of planning out secret TBRs, as well as trips for Austin and I to go on so that there's exciting vlogs. If you're not into books, it's not going to just be book stuff. I'm trying to make this a more well-rounded channel. As for things going on that I need to plan for, Lane County Fair, and then we have an upcoming festival in August, which I'm so excited for. I will, of course, talk more about that a little bit later. I think we have another rave. Let me check my planner. We have so much, like, a ridiculous amount of stuff going on in the next few months, um, which for me is exciting because I won't have a job anymore. For Austin, less exciting. He still has to work. So yeah, we have one concert and a festival in August. We have two, fingers crossed, two concerts in September and a wedding to go to. And then October we have another festival. And then November is Austin's birthday, so Vegas. So there's a lot going on this year. A um, lot to keep track of, but yes, Lane County Fair is coming up and I'm super excited. I think that's this, it's gonna be this weekend, yeah. I'm going to continue planning out some books uh, and some secret TBRs that I wanna work on and just kinda hang out for a little bit. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Let me know what's going on. Macmillan Audio presents Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Read for you by Lauren Fortgay and Michael David Axtell. So, as you've seen, I started Ninth House. I've got 15 hours to go still, but. I don't know how I feel so far. It's not something that I know much about the plot yet. I know that they're at Yale, secret society, they want power because money, 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 but not that kind of power. They want magic powers, like they want, I'm assuming Endgame will be like ruling the world or something crazy. So yeah, there's secret society. I feel like Galaxy or Alex, which interesting name choice. She seems fine so far, but Darrington, one, dumb name, two, he kind of just info dumped on like her roommates and stuff instead of like showing us maybe from Alex's perspective, like what her roommates are like. Instead, he was all like, this is Mercy and she's done this, this, and this. Like, <laughs> giving me like their backstory of randomly throwing in their nationalities, randomly throwing in their credentials and like what their essays were like and things like that instead of just genuinely showing it instead of telling it. I don't know. Felt like that could have gone different seeing as I don't know these characters. So just to like throw that at me at the beginning, I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know. But Besides that, seems fine so far. I found a PDF version that I've been reading along with just so that I'm not super confused and lost because I was getting really confused and lost at the beginning. So that is what I've been doing. 
I think now I might continue reading, but I think I'm gonna switch over to Last Tank Standing, which is in the living room. Hey, what's up? Just got out of the shower. Um, yesterday I kind of took a mental health day, sorry I'm not turning off the AC, but yesterday I took a mental health day for myself because I just really wasn't feeling well. Um, I have been intending for the last few days to actually like start a workout plan um, and stick to it and like actually properly work out, but it's been one obviously like the rest of the world and super freaking hot um and then two I just am struggling in that aspect of like wanting to be healthy and take care of myself but also body dysmorphia and just feeling so bad about myself and then not being able to sit and work out for 20 minutes which is it's stupid but I'm making so many excuses for myself all the time and just not doing what I want to be doing and needing to do um I am the heaviest that I've ever been this is been a rough year for so many people and because I've still been working in my office full-time ever since the pandemic started I never like had the free time to start all these projects like some people did which is fine I am so glad that I was able to go to my office and work and not have to like sit at home because I think Austin and I might have actually killed each other <laughs> if we had to like be together 24 7 um but because of that like because I was working all the time I seriously stopped moving because there was no going outside there wasn't any like where to go I couldn't go to concerts and raves which is where a lot of my physical activity comes in because man do I love to dance but I haven't been able to do that and now that festivals are coming up I'm really excited to be dancing but also super nervous because if you aren't aware um, rave culture is a lot of what's a nice word very showy outfits very revealing clothes there we go um which is fine I love wearing revealing clothes but my self-worth and the way that I see myself in the mirror just doesn't it doesn't fit it doesn't work which is really unfortunate for me and it's been really difficult so I'm hoping to start the Chloe Ting two week shred program. Not necessarily because I think it's going to give me such crazy results like the internet might pretend to say, but because it is a program, it's set on a time schedule, like it's something that I can just follow. Um, so that's kind of the goal to start working out and hopefully feeling a bit better about myself and my body. Um, I love my body, I love who I am most days but <laughs> I do appreciate what my body does for me but I've struggled with eating disorders for many many years and it's kind of went from like starving myself and not taking care of myself and being healthy to completely ignoring all of that and not being healthy with my body whatsoever um, my diet's not good I'm not moving period I don't go on walks anymore like just like the simple things that I should be doing for myself I just don't and instead I come home from work eat a bag of chips take a nap eat like a giant dinner and then go to bed and like that's my routine so obviously I'm quitting my job which is super exciting for so many reasons um, not just because I don't have to go to my job anymore but because I'm gonna have this free time, I'm really hoping to use it well and take care of myself and get myself back on track. My mental health lately is slightly decreasing <laughs> and I would like to really 
get it back on the up again. I have two weeks of work before I'm just at home all the time. Um, Austin and I have some really big exciting plans coming up for next month for travel stuff to do. So I'm really excited for what is to come, especially festivals, but it is definitely one of those things that's just living rent free in my mind constantly, no matter what I do. And so I'm going to hopefully use my channel to also hold me accountable and actually work out. Like I keep saying that I will and then don't because I make up 10,000 excuses and then just do nothing instead and then feel worse about myself the following day. So that is my uh, very long rant. I'm sure a lot of people feel this exact same way. So I shouldn't feel like so bad or alone, but it's really hard to talk about these kind of stuff to like face to face interactions with people and I'm just ready to not, I don't know, it's so difficult. Like I don't wanna put in the work to get to the place that I need to be, but obviously I have to put in the work to get to the place that I want to be. Obviously, makes sense. So yeah, that's, that's my spiel. Hopefully, I get things moving slowly at some point, and my life can eventually start looking up again um, for my health, just so that I take care of myself, vitamins, working out, moving, eating better. How does a picky eater eat healthy? I don't know. Hopefully, we'll figure something out. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's my spiel. That's how I've been feeling lately. <sighs> but today is not the day because my mental health is still slightly suffering and it's getting really difficult to find joy in anything right now. I've been getting really irritated and snappy with my partner. I've just been in such a blah mood that I am getting... I need to blah, 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 blah. I need to get myself out of this funk. So for right now, I'm going to stay in the air conditioned room where it's nice and cool and I'm not gonna die of heat. I'm going to watch some vlogs. I'm currently super obsessed with Olivia Reed's a latte. Oh my goodness, chef's kiss. She's so funny. I'm really enjoying her summerween content. I'm so bummed that I didn't know Summerween was a thing or I would totally have participated so something to look forward to next year at least but I'm thinking reading some more of this I've got about a hundred pages to go so that's exciting um still enjoying it enough um it's definitely like oh sorry for the camera angles it's definitely like going on the up so I'm kind of just waiting for like that third act conflict, which I kind of, I think I know what's going to happen. But yeah, so far, so fine. And then after this, I'm finally starting, switch hands, Survive the Night by Riley Sager. I'm really excited. Wow. I'm seeing this all over. Um, Olivia just did a video on this. This is going to be... Cindy read this recently, she gave it three stars. Um, I'm excited to see how Kayla feels because it's her book club pick. And then, yeah, the live show where we can all discuss it. I'm excited. So I think for now, read some of this. I would really love to get some editing done. So that's also in the plans right now. I have to somehow get all of my footage off of my phone and my camera and get it onto my computer but my computer is running out of storage and I'm having difficulties getting the pictures off of my phone and putting them onto my laptop for whatever reason so I have to, to figure all that out. So yes, I think we're going to start with reading and then editing depending on what time it is and seeing what the dinner plans are. I have a feeling probably gonna be some fried rice and maybe chicken or something I don't know I had a salad yesterday that oh, was crazy um, 
So yeah, I'm hoping that Austin got to the Asian store because all I've been wanting is bulgogi, but they close at a very inconvenient time and so we haven't been able to get the stuff, the sauce. Uh, so I hope, but probably not. But I will let you guys know what the plan is. For now, we read.